Hey, boys, look what I got here. Hey, where are the white women at? <laughs> uh, don't listen to Scott. This okay. Dave Flo Dave, awesome. Flo <laughs> Dave Filoni mocked critics of Lucasfilm's Mary Sue trope. Uh, Dave Filoni sp uh, speaks at a National Center for Women and Information Technology. My favorite part is when Filoni fabricates uh, an argument. I to speak there. Uh, that's a good question, Script. Uh, is he owns his mangina? I guess. I, um, my favorite part is when Floney fabricates an argument with a fan so he can argue with points the fans never made in an effort to prove a political point that doesn't exist. It's a very common SJW habit and it's very hilarious. I can already tell that um, Itchy has not been on the pro Floney side of the TFM <laughs> circuits. No, no, yeah. he's pissed with him. Yeah. yeah. Um, he then goes on to uh, say about Ahsoka and SJW Swarm, we found that this this to be an amazing excuse me we found this to be an amazing thing. It will shock none of you that when you create some a strong, independent, intelligent character that shows no fear, you can do that can do amazing things. Boys and girls like her. This is what we're trying to do with the Star Wars saga. That's not true. We like characters that experience fear. We like the vulnerability. It makes us makes them compelling. It makes us want to be there to help them. Well, right. I mean, because I don't want a perfect character to watch. I want someone I can identify with, someone that goes through trials, someone that fails, someone that experiences, you know, has to learn lessons in order to really, you know, become responsible for... Someone like Luke Scar Skywalker? Someone yeah, like someone Luke? who goes to rescue the princess, but then gets uh, buried down by a whole bunch of stormtroopers coming off the only, uh, only exit out. So they have to right. improvise a way out. And the princess is the one that saves them, yep. you know, or the one that rushes, leaves his Jedi training too early. And he's a warrior at that moment. He thinks a Jedi is a warrior. So he goes into battle against the, the toughest Sith out there. And then he realizes in the next, you know, in return of the Jedi, that a Jedi isn't a warrior. He uses his, his peace and, and love. A Jedi is Daryl Davis. That's who Jedi, a Jedi is Daryl Davis, the mm. uh, R&B blues musician who convinces uh, white supremacists yes. that they're, they're wrong and that and brings them over to the rational side of, of human beings. That's final, you ain't final. Shut the, What are you doing, man? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just saying, is there a connection there? Is there more to the story? Mm. I don't know. Stop if you guys haven't. If you haven't been to chapter <laughs> 35 yet, it's all about coffee enemas. So no, I it's thought not. I'd leave it. No, it's 35. not. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Steven, Steven. Oh, my God. Uh, no, God. Nerd cookies. That might be a standalone novella. We'll have to. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. okay. Uh, then he goes on to mock critics of Lucasfilm's Mary Sue trope <laughs> by what? By mischaracterizing. <laughs> Taxi, Taxi. <laughs> oh, that's, that's priceless. I could see it now, Sporky News Podcast, after Stephen breaks 1,500 subs. I am the Fandom, <laughs> fandom Menace Barista, uh. and I wrote the coffee table book, Enemas, on Tatooine. <laughs> Actually, that might be quite apt for the rise of Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Given how it ends, yeah. Uh, that's fucked up, bro. <laughs> uh, that could be the final right. chapter. The end of The Rise of Skywalker, Enemas on Tatooine. Oh, man. <laughs> he then goes on to mock critics of Lucasfilm's Mary Sue trope by mischaracterizing their criticisms as being against women. The typical what? What? I, he just made me think, like, no one's lived here for a long time. Who are you? I'm Ray. Ray who? Ray. Ugh. Ew. Skywalker. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <sighs> you, hey, man, you asked. Uh, asked. I, I didn't. Shut up. <laughs> it's enough. It's, it's over. Shit, Walker. It's over. It's over. Ray shit, Walker. Ray shit, Walker. I know. That, that was good. All right. What did what's Filoni say? <sighs> <Fuck it. laughs> Let's I find out. Oh, right. long oh my God. Having canon to be at the Gat and Apprentice, uh, let alone that it would be a girl. I didn't care. I thought that's a great idea because I didn't want to just make Luke Skywalker again. I wanted a character that had different challenges and could have uh, a different story than Luke. Um, but, that's you know, fine, yeah. And for George, mm. it wasn't. I mean, obviously, it was his idea. Uh, for fans, this was very different. <laughs> 
<laughs> Toxic <laughs> Nipple. <laughs> Tatooine has two boots. Steve <laughs> has two buttocks. <laughs> Y'all are killing me. That's worse. I'm in tears. <laughs> <laughs> two moods coffee. <laughs> That's no moon coffee. That's no moon coffee. <laughs> It's an ass station. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Scott's doing the whole game over, man. <laughs> Fuck the stream. The general public as a whole are going to look at that and say, why? And we just created this character. And it was this funny assumption by a lot of people. Uh, you know, because the older fans are complaining, why is this? You're making it for kids. That's the funniest thing that anybody ever says to me. You're making stars for kids. I'm like, yeah. Okay. How yeah, old were you when you saw Star Wars? Like, no and one then, said oh, that. The first time I saw Star Wars, yeah. I was not only that, no old. one cared. I mean, why not for kids? Kids are smart things. You want them to be influenced by good media. Right. <laughs> if you pander to them, then it's even worse. You get Caillou. That's a creepy <laughs> show. That is a <laughs> Caillou is creepy. What? He What's going play, on over there? I'm just reading the chat. Please share this. What? Someone just said it to my Twitter. Okay, that was Parrothead, right? Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. He said it to all of us, so you all have it in your oh. Oh. What the fuck is going on today? Beware the brew. Beware the brew. I think we got a winner. You, okay, and you, you and you, you and you, this is you and you started this. This is you all did this. I can't apologize. This is awesome. It's hilarious. And you want to rob this experience from kids today? Why? And make it all dark and sinister and evil. Okay, okay. Wait, who wants to make it all dark and sinister and evil? What the oh. fuck is he talking about? Why is he talking like that? Well, first of all, yeah, you want to he... make the dark side dark, sinister, and evil. That's right. why they're a threat. I don't think you want to make the heroes dark, sinister, and evil. And I don't think that's ever been suggested or requested <laughs> from the uh, from any fandom for stuff Star Wars Did, that I know of. Didn't Kylo oh, Ren like throw an alien's head on a conference table? In the Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, I thought that was pretty. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty dark. dark. Cool. Also, like the the rise of I there's mean, tons the, of uh, dark Last moments Jedi. in Star Wars. Yeah, that's good. That was evil. It had Luke drinking the, from nipple milk. I mean, that's pretty evil and dark. Yeah. yeah. All right, and yeah. Well, and Anakin, you know, and, and Mustafar. That was pretty. Yeah. Uh, there's geez. there's lots of darker that's moments. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. having a really hard time not yeah. concentrating. <laughs> I, I, I say anything at all. I'm so distracted by the chat. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's really dark. Uh, what's that movie? Sure, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm. Final. I'm trying final to come up with I'm just reading the chat. Just just the chat. I can't. <laughs> oh man. This is too good. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> It, there is just a perfect storm of things that happen where Dave Filoni just talking shit means nothing when we're really reading about shit. That's the best part. We're supposed to be angry. I can see the tears in your eyes, Scott. <laughs> I'm, I'm hurting right now, man. I'm like literally, I'm, I'm hurting. I, I, we started the stream. People in the chat were like, I want to talk about Filoni. Rage about Filoni. We're talk, talking about Filoni. Why is ass in the chat? Why is this an ass chat? What is going on? Yeah. <laughs> I was all excited about the oh, uh, we, we need something Disney to Disney laugh about. Star Wars. <laughs> Born in the ass chat. <laughs> Thank you, TT. Uh, it's yeah. on the far moon of Enema. <laughs> the cotton <laughs> on the far moon of Enema. <laughs> Someone oh, just go final. <laughs> Final's dead. And I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> and you want to rob this experience from kids today? Why? And make it all dark and sinister and evil? Okay. okay. What is Why like does he creeper? sound like that? Like, he's he like does that. sound uh, weird. He never... Is he that... All right, I don't mean this rudely, but is he is he that lispy in real life? I, I think it's because he's pandering to this group, is what I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've heard him in a bunch of other interviews. He doesn't sound like that. He, he sounds kinda, more... He kind of does, though. 
He kind of does. I, I like Filoni, but he kind of does. He kind of has, has that lispy. Yeah, just a sense. You can't take him seriously in his hat either. No, I know. <laughs> well, yeah, like because so. it doesn't coordinate properly with the rest of the of his attire. Like if he went full <laughs> blown <laughs> cowboy, I can buy it. But he's just mm-hmm. kind of like record. He's like saying, "No, this is as far as I'll go." <laughs> and I live in Texas, and like cowboys don't wear cowboy hats anymore. They wear baseball caps mostly. <laughs> Well, that only covers the front part of the head, though. That's the other part. <laughs> yeah, I, it's because he's pandering to a, to his audience. That's how it comes off to me. Okay. <laughs> We're never going to make it. I think it's, it's, it's a three-minute clip. It's it's a three-minute clip. It, okay. I'm you, I guess. Oh, thanks, Final. No, I, I, yeah. <laughs> Return yeah. of the enema. <laughs> the enema awakens. <laughs> the last enema. enema. This is where we've gotten to, huh? <laughs> the enema menace. <laughs> Attack of the enema. <laughs> Rogue enema. Oh, God. Enema, solo enema. Solo, yeah, Star solo Wars and enema. Enema lost money. Enema lost money. What? Oh, gosh. Oh, oh God, Christy. I'm you did it. Christy. I'm looking. You did it. This is all I you. can't take responsibility for all these awesome <laughs> jokes. I, I, this, <laughs> I, I, yeah, uh, we needed to laugh. <laughs> oh, we need to laugh oh, in these dark God. times. Yeah, oh, dude. That's fucked up, Steven. We need, we need, we need <laughs> to clear up, out. Steven. Star oh. Tours. Star Tours, the end of a strike. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 I, 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 <laughs> the oh, Anima Falcon. <laughs> My mouth is already laughing so much. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oh, Are we oh, ready? Do you all want to talk about Filoni? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we're branching out now, sure. Toxic. Fuck you. <laughs> I love you and all. Thanks for coming every week, but fuck you. Uh, and, uh, uh, oh my God. That was a great game. Now you've ruined it for me. All right. The Empire at War is a great game. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck today fuck that okay anyway um back to soka there's this assumption that um young girls are gonna like the character of soka we relate that right apples to apples of course we make a young girl character uh so all the young girls will like soka it's almost to say like but what about the boy what 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 <laughs> what i got a screen share for you from christy <laughs> the fuck man Oh God! Oh boy! <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Why? Scott with the wig and your glasses? No, that's, no, that's <laughs> Stephen. Oh, it's Stephen! That's some Stephen's rude dog eyes. shit. That's some rude he dog fits shit. That bitch is so perfect. <laughs> that's some rude dog shit. <laughs> oh, I got my ass espresso. How are y'all doing? <laughs> it's the Vienna Republic. Thought we were friends, Christy. <laughs> We were fr- oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, oh, that's instead of a <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead of a sip, just a oh, shit. Man. There's 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 always two shits: a master <laughs> and a pet. Which one was Steven? <laughs> oh, the movement or the void? I've <laughs> lost all control. I, I, I said my eyes gonna pop out. Oh. This is your fault, Jane. You started all <laughs> this. This whole road we're on today started with you. The Phantom. Yo, you got nothing to say for yourself, huh? I nothing, I... nothing, to <laughs> nothing to say. Nothing to say for yourself. The enema it flows through you. Oh you. God! I, I, uh... I can't even do the whole thing. You don't know the power of the dark. 
<laughs> the dark side has so much more meaning now. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee <laughs> enemy is a fact. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> the oh, dark boy. side's a faster path to a coffee Order enema. Order up 66. <laughs> Order up 66. This is the best chat we've ever had. Notion. So what we found was this amazing thing. It will shock none of you. Uh, oh, that when you create yeah. a strong, independent, intelligent <laughs> character that shows no fear that can do amazing things boys and girls like her this is what we've tried to do with the star wars saga now we've tried to create more female characters who can represent so many things because what we're trying to do isn't just create uh, one type of character we're trying to create a diverse range of characters uh, especially female characters that are strong that are independent uh, when you look at ray uh, <laughs> On you know, the Force Awakens, she's a female lead in a whole new chapter of the Star Wars. Saga. We haven't done a movie for ten years, and here comes Star Wars film, and here comes Ray, and it's what is it? It's Panic in the Streets. The anime oh will my consume gosh, you as it did Vader's movies. Apprentice. And then the trailer for Rogue One comes out, and it's another female lead. Oh my gosh! How unfair! We've had probably like two million straight film cinematic roles where men. Oh, I'm done. Uh, what an asshole. Oh, God, never mind. <laughs> oh, there yeah. he is. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't understand character archetypes, which explains, yeah. you know, The Mandalorian <laughs> and I guess the last season of uh, The Clone Wars, which I thought was kind of um, derivative, unnecessarily dragged out. I think it's yeah. on purpose so that you could time sync it with The the Revenge of the Sith, Sith, Sith at some point. He just, I don't know, he sounds full of it. Mm -hmm. Like strong female characters weren't invented. Exactly. Until he came along. <laughs> what, yeah, exactly. Just, what about the femme fatale? That's like the first strong yeah. female character in cinema that I can think of, right? And that's in the 30s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Admiral Turkin. <laughs> Grand Moff Turkin. <laughs> yes. Grand Moff Turkin. <laughs> Show respect, Palanuki. Show I mean, respect. I, I like the concept of Ahsoka. I just don't think she should have been <laughs> Anakin's apprentice. I don't think Anakin should have ever had an apprentice while he was uh, a, a young Jedi. I think that kind of defeats what uh, what makes Anakin a, an interesting character. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you, script doctor. Yes. Uh, yes, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> for keeping us on track. I'm trying I mean, so remember the, the line he says to Obi Wan when I left you, I was but a learner. Now I'm a master. So he should technically still be learning under Obi Wan, and you'd never want to have your your student trying to teach another student at the same time. They're not getting the full message. It'd be uh -huh. like the winter turdier. Yeah, exactly. According to Christy, turds are coming. The turds are coming. Oh. The brown turds are coming. If you want to yes. do a little bit more Paul Revere. Uh, um. <laughs> So number uh, one, if by sea, number two, if by land. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. They have been leads. And now we've done two in a row that are women. Uh, well, too bad. Oh, well. You're such wow. a Wow. Really, bro. Really, bro. What are you talking about? Really, bro. I, I mean, I, why, why are you put this is exactly the kind of shit that we expect to hear out of Kathleen Kennedy. Exactly. And why are we hearing this from yeah. his mouth? Well, not only that. Think about how He's terrible he must view ass. women if this is how he has to write them and thinks that that's how you make a, a female character compelling and interesting and likable. He's speaking out of yeah, his Yeah, I know. Um, you know, and I feel like it, the, as far as, as – like, sorry, I can't have a serious – but as a woman, um, I was going to say – um, as a girl, Luke Skywalker was my favorite character, and I didn't mm. need it to be my gender to admire his qualities. And I feel like, you know, I don't know, people mm -hmm. like characters that are relatable. <laughs> that, and no one can relate to Ray. <laughs> you're you're relating to the character, not the gender. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you're relating to uh, the experience mm -hmm. that person goes through, not like not. Mm -hmm. I need to check all these boxes. <laughs> mm -hmm. What did Filoni say again? Oh, He's an ass clown, dude. I don't Maybe know. there are more coming. I don't know. This is this idea that, like, and I run into. How do you not know? 
<laughs> when working with writers. It's like, oh, good you work point. There. Yeah, we just made one of those. <laughs> made one of what? We just made a Jane, few that's million. a very uh -huh. good point. We can make another one. Really? Yes, we can. There's more than one woman in the world. There's more than one woman here in the world. Why is that so strange? If we made like five men heroes in a row, no one would blink. You know, what? Ray. No, we blink. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd actually be solo. shocked. This dude is condescending. <laughs> It really is. He's like He's the guy pandering guy to the office. He's talking everybody about the audience. She goes That's up with Kylo Ren. <laughs> she punks him right away. Like he's supposed to be this great guy, wiped all these people. I don't know. She took she that lightsaber and right was away. like, "I'm gonna take you out," and she did. And I'm all for it. And she looks strong. It's not. And you're all for a terrible, a, a terrible written hero. <laughs> well, a, a terrible villain too. When you when the villain gets beat in the first mm -hmm. act of a trilogy. How is he your villain anymore? I mean, there's, there's, there's got to be some kind of a really extenuating circumstance that has to do with like something that's going to complement the overall story if your hero bests the villain in the first story. And, and there should oh. be a measure of sacrifice involved in, in achieving that victory. Well, here's the thing that's actually on uh, Itchy's site. I don't know how true it is because I haven't been able to get any any friends I know to verify, but he does have J.J. <laughs> Abrams' treatment for what this, the follow-up of The Force Awakens would be. And apparently in that treatment, Luke says that he kind of force possessed Ray to beat <gasps> Kylo in that oh. fight. What? Yeah. What? what kind of shit is that? Wait, yeah, I, I, I don't what? know. Like, Final. It penetrated. Yeah. <laughs> the coffee surrounds oh, us. Yeah. It penetrates <laughs> us. I, I have no control over, over it. It boils the yeah. anus together. Mission in <laughs> 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 you know what, Stephen? I'm sorry, but this chat needs to be heard. <laughs> so heard. We could just call him like Dave Baloney now, right? Because yeah. he's clearly he's a, he's a <laughs> Baloney Baloney. <laughs> According to Animas. Tommy, that's <laughs> fucked up, bro. Oh, what, crap. What, what the <laughs> oh. That's awesome. <laughs> I'd buy that book. I'd buy that book. Uh, uh, and she doesn't show any fear. She looks <laughs> like this is an intense moment in her life, and we're there with her because of that. Because she's a real feeling dimensional person. What? That's what we want. No, a real, a real feeling dimensional person that doesn't feel fear. She's okay. one dimensional. There's. Yeah. <laughs> she's never been off her planet before, but yet she has the ability to jump into the Millennium Falcon and fly it better than Han Solo. Okay, yeah, she she's flawed. She's flawed. She teaches Han Solo like how to bypass. <laughs> I just get that. <laughs> oh, no, go ahead, go ahead, Scotty. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, in the first in the first movie, she's teaching. She's teaching Han Solo. You know, in the second movie, she's teaching Luke Skywalker. <laughs> A fresh uh -huh. cup of Joe will never have the same meaning as uh -huh. truth. <laughs> never. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Enema Trek. The Wrath yeah. of Enema, yeah. Yeah, the Wrath of Enema. <laughs> okay. Mental Prozac. Uh, we are trying to create an environment where it's my Did hope. he just say uh, mental Prozac? Kind of just like Luke, all he did was open that door. He just opened that door. I think what's brilliant is the fact that the chat is quite on point with the content of what's coming out of Filoni's mouth. It's all enemas. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. It's all turds. Yes. All enemas go to heaven, Jane. Yeah. You want to throw your hat in there after you started all this? Okay. <laughs> 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 Sorry, uh, for, any, for any writers out there in the chat, this is a great real-world example of conflict and uh, uh, and character development. <laughs> <laughs> Steven has a goal to get through this video. The conflict is that the chat keeps bringing up anima coffee animas. <laughs> <laughs> deterring him from reaching his goal of being able to lambast Loney for his BS. <laughs> <laughs>